Hello, my name is Gustavo Malinger. I am from Israel, and we are now at the 20th Congress of the Fetal Maternal Foundation. And I am going to show you a simulation in a patient with citomegalovirus to show you how easy is using the simulator to make a diagnosis and to recognize all the findings that are characteristic in a fetus with a very florid infection with CMV. We will start the examination by showing the coronal planes, and we are going from the very frontal coronal planes, and we are going backward to see the whole brain in the coronal aspects. And from the beginning, you can see very characteristic findings of the CMV infection. Uh, you probably will, it's very easy to see the calcification that are spread in the whole brain, but there are other things that are very important to recognize and that are very characteristic of infection, particularly of a, a CMV. And when you look at the, at the lateral ventricles, you see that around the lateral ventricles, the echogenicity of the white matter is, say, is m more pronounced than usually, and there is a very clear separation between the periventricular zone and the subplate, and this zone, the demarcation in this zone is everywhere that you put your, your transducer, you will see that. I am going to show you also in the sagittal plane. Okay, in the sagittal plane, let's say here, you see very clearly the, the differences in the ecogenicity of the periventricular zone and the subplate. But looking at this plane, the lateral ventricles are also a little bit dilated, and here you have another very special and characteristic sign of CNV infection. This is a porencephalic cyst. The brain in the occipital area has been destroyed, and you see a separation of the ependyma from the wall of the lateral ventricle. What else you can see? You can see there is a lot of fluid around the anterior zones of the frontal lobes. In the posterior place, a lot of time you can see this kind of fluid, but here there is a lot of fluid around the frontal horns, meaning that this brain is atrophic. And if you look further, you will see that in temporal zone, in temporal, uh, there is another cyst. You see the echogenicity is also in the caudate here, the lentostriatal vasculopathy that is abnormal. And the shape of the lateral ventricle is also abnormal. You see here, and the sulcation is completely abnormal, meaning that here you have polymicrogyria. The, this, the regular pattern of the sulcation here, or the, or the cortex here, sorry, is abnormal. What else you can see, if you look at the lateral ventricle, you will see that the lateral ventricle is not completely round. There are, there are bumps in the lateral ventricles, another thing. And finally, we are going to, show, to see in the midline that you cannot clearly visualize the corpus callosum because the corpus callosum, again, has been destroyed by the CMV infection, large cisterna magna, and you cannot see very nicely the cerebellum that should be uh, small in size. I hope that this uh, simulation helps you to diagnose this, again, very, very abnormal case of a CMV infection. Thank you very much.